Okay, this is part one of tearing into an AKG P820 tube microphone. And there it is. Um, that's the microphone, and we're going to open it up to see what's inside. And let's see uh, here that screw, that screw has to come out, that nut. There. Uh, so I'm going to zoom in closer so that you can see that better. It's like a beautiful microphone. And we want to keep it beautiful. So let's see. I need to focus and I also need more light. Yeah. Let's take a quick peek. So, in order to not damage anything there, I would need some kind of tool to get into those two notches there to open it. I have to see uh, where I get that from. So, I don't have this tool, so I'm sorry, like, there's no way to get in there without damaging it. I need to... I'm going to get a tool for this. So, let's start out with a remote control for this piece and... Let's open up the remote control and we get to this part in the second part of this video. Alright, so the remote control is here. Two switches on there. And one knob. <coughs> and it has four screws on each side, I'm guessing here, to open this. So I'm going to fast forward because this will take a second to get those eight screws out with a regular Phillips screwdriver. As you can see, that was not too bad. So now we can take this cover off. And it is stuck. Let's see why that is. What's happening? Oh, so we have a ground wire here. We can unplug. And then... We can take a quick look here. Let's hold this in front of the camera to have a better view. Very good. It is all simple, very simple, easy and uh, beautiful. That is a very good quality of a board in there. You see how shiny and clean it is. The solder joints so far look very good. Yeah, that's how it's done. No question. So let's enjoy the beauty of this for a minute. Alright, but last not least, we have to put it back together. Plug it in the ground. And then just get the screws back in there. So there we are. Thank you very much for watching and wait for part two where we open the microphone itself.